hello, and welcome to the third episode of Prime Time Zeke. With me, Zeke Fitzgerald. Let's just try that again, just to make sure that you got the full effect of the of the head nod. Prime Time Zeke with me, Zeke Fitzgerald. Yes, I think you perfectly got it. That's, that's just great. Um, uh, here on the third episode, we have some bad news. There is, a. Uh, uh, a small setback, uh, Rex the band leader has left the show. The last we saw of him, uh, he left a post-it note that said, went to get eggs, and he hasn't come back since then. So, uh, we are holding auditions now for the new, uh, addition to the cast here. Lower the screen, Spoggy. <laughs> This is, uh, Zeke Fitzgerald of Primetime Zeke, the only stick-based animated talk show in the world. Um, yeah, uh, so, uh, why am I here? Well, uh, I assume that you're, uh, here to, uh, go for the job. Hey, are you making fun of my Italian heritage? Because if you are, come over there and I'll smack your face. I'll smack you until you can't move your smack in here, eh? You got a problem with that? Capisce? Um, I think that's just a stereotypical word used by Italians. I don't really think they use the word capiche that much anymore. It's very godfathery and, and you know, depreciating to the Italians. Hey, you paisani! Capone Simone Capitano! I don't believe that was, uh, actually Italian. I think you just made that up on the spot. Um, let's go on to the next person, shall we? Hey, come, don't even, don't, you... Oh, next contestant will be Pierre Monsoir. Oh, bonjour. My name is Pierre Bonsoir. I'm here to audire my mustache and beret fell off. Oh, crap. I would think I keep a spire in my rear. I don't think we need to know that, Pierre. Who in here thinks he deserves the job? By random applause. Well, uh, I guess that means we found our new, uh, so, uh, Rex, so to speak. Uh, uh, Pierre will be joining us for French with Pierre real soon. Right after this commercial break from our sponsor, Stick Enterprises. Hey there. Are you worthless? Who, me? Yeah, you. Well, our friends at Stick Enterprises would like to help you, you hopeless loser. With our brand new product, Cool in a Can, all you have to do is spray and walk away. Spray and walk away? Spray and walk away. That's right. Let's go to the testing grounds and try it on this worthless geek. Ow, my flesh! It burns! <laughs> Stay in there, little fella. For our very low introductory price, if you call in the next 12 minutes, you can receive this fantastic product for only three easy payments of $99.99. $99.99! That's right, $99.99. And if you are a hopeless geek, then you need Cool in a Can. No, Stick Enterprises is not responsible for burning skin. Even I have a testimonial for Cool in a Can. It burnt my flesh, too. I feel special. Hey, Jamie the Pygmy Elephant Intern, will you please get me a cup of, of decaf coffee? This is not decaf. This is calf. The exact opposite of decaf. What part of decaf was unclear in the D-E prefix that was affixed to the calf to make it un, without sounding like uncalf, which is a very unsightly name? <sighs> Never mind. I don't even want any coffee. Thank you for ruining my appetite, Jamie the Pygmy Elephant Intern. You have ruined my day. Bonjour, and welcome to French with me, Pierre Bonsoir. Today, we'll be learning the phrase Pepe et le P. Which translate to English means something like Duck man. But could also be used 
as a, another term for pudding face. Neither of these phrases mean any sense, but they could be used in casual conversation or in booking a hotel. Goodbye, my friends. Ah, uh, hey, Pierre. Did I happen to mention this little uh, initiation routine that we do here on the show? Um, uh, our, our Jamie and them will, uh, will escort you to the spot where the initiation will take place. What do I have to do? Um, well, you'll see when you get there. Why are we standing next to this tall hill? Well, uh, we have this little initiation. Uh, if we push you off this cliff and you survive, then you, you get the job. Why do I have to fall off a cliff? Uh, yeah, because it'll get us ratings. <laughs> All right, let's try. I'm okay. Hey, and did I also mention that we have to roll this gremlin onto you? Roll that what? Spaggy, get the gremlin. <laughs> Okay, he's got the job. All right. I cannot feel my legs, guys. Oh, you'll get used to it. Rub some dirt in there. I may need medical attention. Um, we don't have medical attention here. Just uh, walk it off. Walk it off. You'll be fine. But my leg is wrapped around my head, guys. Oh, it's just it's fine. It it makes you limber. It builds character. Back to the studio. Oh my, I don't think our camera's caught that. Um, uh, can we have him do it again? Do we have another gremlin? Is it the red one? I love the red one. Can we get, can we get that one with us? Alright. Pull Pierre back up there and get the other gremlin. Pierre Bonsoir does not take this kind of disrespect. Your country doesn't even have an army. Now get up on that hill, and let's push you off it again, and this time the cameras might get it. Okay, guys, but only once uh, more. Ah! Alright, we had the other gremlin. Do it, Spoggy. <laughs> All right, we got it. Hey guys, okay, I think I am dying. I need help. Uh, look, Pierre, did I tell you we don't have any medical attention? Did I tell you we have no medical attention? All right, walk it off. Jamie will get you an ice pack and we'll be fine. Just come back. 